Oh, wow, that's a lot of money. Honest work deserves honest pay. You've worked hard these past two weeks. Mm, actually, Mr. Russell, there's something I've been wanting to talk to you about. Could we go talk somewhere? Sure. Let's take a walk. Okay, so Mrs. Brown wanted us to put in graphs and pictures and stuff like that, right? And I can't figure out how to put anything into this document for the report. So I'm just sitting there frustrated on my mind, clicking away. And next thing you know, I've managed to delete everything. Macy, for being a teenager in an age of technology, you have got to be the most technologically challenged person I know. Watch it. See you on Monday. <laughs> All right, bye Rachel. Hey honey. Hi mom. How was school? Well, I barely got my report turned in on time, but otherwise it was fine. Do we have anything I can eat before I leave? There's a burrito on the middle shelf. Where are you going? Today's the day I do the interview for exercising horses at the Lucia Ranch. I hope it goes well. I'll be praying for you. Thanks, Mom. Well, it certainly appears that you have a lot of experience with horses. We don't usually hire people your age, but these references speak very highly of you. Now, are you going to be committed to this job for a while? Um, I'm actually not sure. I applied to college and uh, I haven't gotten my results back whether or not I've been accepted yet or not. But if I have been, I'll be leaving in August. That's actually part of the reason why I want this job, because I need to pay for college tuition. I see. We usually hire people who are going to be with us for a while. The horses need to get used to them and there's quite a learning curve. I need to think about it, but I'll let you know. Okay. Thank you. You know, Macy, I do have a temporary position open. The person does our advertising and handles our web page. They're gone for a month. It involves designing posters, updating our web page, things like that. It pays a lot better than the other job, and you could work mostly from home. Do you know websites and graphic design? Um, yeah, I... Great! You can start Monday. Listen, I gotta go and get the horses fed. My wife will give you the paperwork. Uh, Mr. Russell? Don't thank me, Macy. I'm glad to have you on board. You did what? It happened so fast. I tried to tell him I don't know a lot about computers, but it didn't seem like he was gonna give me the other job, and I really need the money. But, you know, technically I didn't lie. Well, you obviously didn't try hard enough to tell the truth. Macy, think about this for a minute. Your boss is expecting that you know how to use a computer without blowing it up. All right, well, maybe I'm actually not as bad as you think I am. And besides, I've got a plan. How do we upload this? No, 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 oh, not again. Come on, where'd it go? Right there. No, not now. Okay, hello? Oh, Macy, it's Mr. Russell. It's getting a bit late. I just wondered if you had finished that ad yet. I wanted it uploaded tonight, but I don't see it on the webpage. Oh. Um, yeah, actually, about that. I should have told you this sooner, but, uh, I am... I'm not... You're not what? I'm not done with it yet. Because I, uh, I had a family emergency. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope everything's okay. Oh, yeah, everything's fine. Okay, well, I'm glad to hear that. I will need that ad done as soon as possible. 
Uh, yeah, of course, yeah, um, I can finish it tonight and upload it first thing in the morning. Okay, well that'll be fine this time. Um, let me know when it's uploaded. Uh, yeah, of course, thank you. Okay, bye. Mm. Oh, what did I just do? I was under the impression that we were studying for finals, not taking a nap. Sorry, Rachel. I was up to like 2.30 last night redoing an ad for work because I accidentally deleted the file. Um, don't you know that you could have just restored the document from your recycle bin? Uh... Macy, come on. This has been going on for way too long. This was only my first big project. Exactly. This mess should never have made it past the interview. You need to come clean before you dig an even deeper hole for yourself. Okay, well, you know what, Rachel? You're not the one in this situation, and I've been in it way too long to come clean, so I don't appreciate your nagging, and I don't think you're being a very good friend. Actually, Macy, sometimes being a good friend means showing others that what they're doing is ungodly. <sighs> I didn't know you were coming over today. I called, but you didn't pick up. Same as all the other times I've tried to call you. I figured we needed to talk about what happened last week. I thought you were working today. I'm supposed to, and I sort of am. Uh, look. I found this super cheap website where you can hire people to, you know, make posters or do website uploads. It's the best of both worlds. I mean, I don't have to work, I still get paid, and Mr. Russell has loved everything I've turned in so far. But he thinks that you're the one that did the work? Yes. It's not that hard of a concept to grasp. Doesn't sound like very honest work to me. What do your parents think of all this? Are you kidding me? They'd freak. No. As far as they know, I'm off exercising horses at the Lucia Ranch. And it's going to stay that way. Don't worry. I won't tell them. But the very fact that you don't want them to know should probably be an indication that what you're doing is wrong. Listen, I get that you feel trapped and like you're too deep in lies to tell the truth. But the Bible says that the truth will set you free. Once you come clean, you'll feel so much better. You need to trust God and do what's right. Believe me, I want to. I just... It never feels like the right time, and I don't know how to tell Mr. Russell. I know, but it's never going to seem like the right time. You need to pray for strength and bite the bullet. Thanks for being honest with me, Rachel, and, um, sorry for jumping on you. Hey, what are friends for? So, oh, you've been lying to me this whole time and you actually don't know anything about computers? Pretty much. I'm so sorry, Mr. Russell. I, I wanted to tell you, but then I thought maybe I could fake it because I did really need the money for college. And next thing you know, I'm too deep in the lie and I feel too trapped to tell you. You know I'm going to have to let you go, right? I appreciate your honesty, Macy. Must have been very difficult for you to gather up the courage to tell me. You have no idea. I almost told you after I accidentally deleted the ad, but then I froze, and then my friend had to remind me how important it is to tell the truth. I already feel such a weight lifted off my shoulders, and I really hope you can forgive me. I do. But what are you going to do about money for college? Well, I guess I'm going to have to find another job, and... This time I'll be honest. Good for you. So we're trying to fill a position that involves a lot of computer work. You think you might be interested? Well, uh, would you happen to have anything that involves working with horses? Hmm. 
we have a well-paying job for someone to handle our online marketing. Um, how about mucking out stalls? <laughs> <laughs>